So we've made a lot of recipes here on Spain on a Fork with some standing out above others. And let me tell you, the dish we're making today sits right up there with the best of them as it's filled with so many beautiful flavors and it's all done in just 30 minutes. We're talking an easy weeknight rice with tuna and tomatoes. Now, not only is this rice dish gonna fill your body with so much goodness, but it's made with the most basic pantry staples and it's all done using just one pan for a very easy cleanup, folks. As always, serve this rice dish next to a crunchy baguette and a bottle of Spanish wine and you're gonna have yourself one heck of an amazing meal. All right, let's just dive right into this recipe. I'm going to grab a large fry pan, heat it with a medium heat, and add in about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 30 milliliters. While the olive oil is heating, I'm going to finely dice one small onion, finely chop one small carrot that's been peeled and washed, and roughly chop four cloves of garlic. Once all the vegetables have been cut, I'm gonna add them into the pan with a hot olive oil. And it's very important to mix the vegetables around continuously, that way they all evenly saute and they don't brown too quickly. After about three minutes and the vegetables are lightly sauteed, I'm gonna add in a heaping teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is two and a half grams. And we'll give it a quick mix. That way the paprika is evenly coating all the vegetables. As always, the Spanish paprika I'm using is from Kiba, truly one of the best Spanish paprikas out there. You'll find a link where you can get some in the description box below. And if you buy it from that link, you'll also get 25% off your order. Then I'm gonna add in a 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes, which is 400 grams. And we'll season everything with sea salt and a generous portion of freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give this a quick mix, that way everything's evenly mixed together. Then we'll turn up the heat from a medium heat to a high heat. And we're gonna simmer this just for a couple minutes without mixing the ingredients. After about three minutes, and you can see that the juices from the canned iced tomatoes have really thickened up, I'm gonna add in two cups of cold water, which is 475 milliliters. Of course, to make this rice dish, you can also use vegetable broth or even chicken broth. I just prefer to use water in this recipe, that way it doesn't overpower the dish. And we'll give it a quick mix and bring that water to a boil. In the meantime, let's start getting the rice ready. For this recipe, I'm gonna be using long grain rice, but as always, you can use whatever type of rice you like, though the water to rice ratio might be different than the one that I'm using, so make sure to check the package instructions. I'm gonna measure out one cup, which is 190 grams. Add the rice into a sieve and we'll rinse it under some cold running water until the water starts running clear underneath the sieve, which takes about 20 to 30 seconds. Once the water comes to a boil, I'm gonna add in the rice into the pan, and we'll give this a quick mix, that way the rice is evenly distributed. Then we'll place the lid on the pan and lower the fire to a low medium heat. And we're gonna simmer this until all the water has been absorbed by the rice and it's fully cooked through, which is about 15 minutes in my case. So once again, make sure to check the package instructions in the rice that you're using. After about 14 to 15 minutes and all the water has been absorbed by the rice, I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat and we're gonna leave our rice to sit here with the lid on just for a couple minutes. You know, by trapping that steam in there with the lid, it's gonna ensure that each grain of rice is perfectly cooked through. In the meantime, let's start getting the tuna ready. I'm gonna grab two tins of tuna in olive oil. The size of each tin is four ounces, which is 115 grams. We'll drain the tins of tuna into a sieve with a bowl underneath. and give the tuna a quick mix to remove any of the excess oil, but you don't want to over mix it, otherwise it can easily dry up. And as for that olive oil from the tin tuna, we're not gonna be using it in this recipe, but by all means do not toss this, pour it over a salad for an incredible dressing. After a couple minutes, I'm gonna remove the lid from the pan, add in the drained tuna, 
and using a fork will gently fluff the rice. This is going to help separate the grains of rice as well as ensure that that tuna is evenly mixed into the dish. Then we'll transfer some of the rice into a serving dish. Finally, rate in a kiss of manchego cheese. The one that I'm using has been aged for six months. However, to make this recipe, you can use whatever cheese you like. And we'll top it off with a generous portion of finely chopped fresh parsley. Check it out, our easy weeknight rice with tuna and tomatoes is done. Such a beautiful dish that's got so many great flavors to it and is super easy to make. Truly the kind of dish that's going to fill your body with so much goodness. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. Now this right here is what simple home cooking is all about in a dish I cannot wait to try because it smells fabulous. Here we go. There's some serious goodness in this dish. The rice is beautifully cooked, kept its texture. It's not mushy at all. And as for the flavors, that sweet smoked Spanish paprika works beautifully with the tomatoes and the tuna. You know, like I told you to begin, this is one of the top recipes here on Spain Off Works. So easy to make, all done in about 30 minutes and using just one pan. Give this a try at home and I promise you are gonna absolutely love it. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Maybeth Robles, William Judd, Manuel G. Rosales, Edward J. Harrison, and David Houston. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. Leave me a comment below and share this video with your family and friends that we are Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego.